Hello everyone. I've counted the votes and the card you wanted me to talk about most is the Gadget Sun Socialite. Dance with me! At first I had no clue what to talk about, but then Wikipedia showed me the way, so let's begin, shall we? The Gadget Sun Socialite is added with the mean streets of Gadget Sun set. This is set in the city not as we see it in World of Warcraft today, but further down into the future, which may or may not be used for Warcraft itself later on. Either way, here we have a city that massively expanded from a small desert town to a large bustling port city following the flooding of Tenaris during the Cataclysm. Crime rules the back alleys of this expanded Gadget Sun, and the Gadget Sun Socialites, they like to have a good time, but comment on their height and should go from flapper to kneecapper in second flat. I read the description wrong the first time and scratched my head the second time. From flapper to kneecapper, but what do you know, turns out that flapper is actually a thing. I hope you're ready for this one. <laughs> Flappers were a generation of young western women in the 1920s who wore short skirts, bobbed their heads, listened to jazz and flaunted their disdain for what was then considered acceptable behavior. Flappers were seen as brash for wearing excessive makeup, drinking, treating sex in a casual manner, smoking, driving automobiles and otherwise flouting social and sexual norms. Flappers had their origins in the liberal period of the roaring 20s, the social political turbulence and increased transatlantic cultural exchange that followed the end of World War I, as well as the export of American jazz culture to Europe. But hold on to your hats, there's so much more. The slang word flapper, describing a young woman, is sometimes supposed to refer to a young bird flapping his wings while learning to fly. However, it may derive from an early use in Northern England to mean teenage girl, referring to one whose hair is not yet put up and whose plated pigtails flapped on her back. Observe how the art of the card, it shows a gnome, not a bird, and there's no pigtails to be seen. The third description is from an older word meaning prostitute. The slang word flap was used for a young prostitute as early as 1631. By the 1890s, the word flapper was emerging in England as a popular slang both for a very young prostitute and in a more general and less derogatory sense of any lively mid-teenage girl and knowing Blizzard, the last part of the description is probably their intention with this card. So for the one who was asking if known prostitutes are really a thing, I don't think that's where they wanted to go with this card. It's most likely a lively mid-teenage girl living it up within the streets of Gadgetstan and don't you dare make a remark about her height or she'll go from partying to injuring your knees. Now that's not to say that the oldest profession in the world doesn't exist within World of Warcraft and there are some gnomes who like to get very freaky. If you want more details then check out the story of Marcus. Applesauce. This is the Gadgetstan socialized battle cry and some wondered why exactly she says applesauce and once again it takes us back to the 1920s where applesauce was slang for horse feathers and horse feathers this meant something in direction of nonsense, balderdash, describing something ridiculous or stupid. And that's all I have for you when it comes to the Gadgets on Socialites. Honestly, one of the more surprising cards to be done so far. I did not realize that it drew so much from our own history. But hey, the more you know. As always, I'll leave it up to you guys and girls to decide what card we're going to talk about next. So leave your suggestions in the comments down below. And who knows, your card might be used in the next video. Subscribe if you like my videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. And until next time guys, see ya!